Recently, we met up with major champion Wayne Grady in Japan, where he was supporting Dr. Haruhisa Handa and the ISPS team at an event promoting blind and disabled golf. The 56-year-old Australian was runner-up at the 1989 Open Championship and the following year was in contention again for a major, this time the US PGA Championship at Shoal Creek in Alabama. I was driving it really well, driving it great. Uh, playing well all over, but driving it great. And the, the rough was so heavy, probably the heaviest rough that I've ever played a tournament uh, with. And the difference there was that it didn't matter whether you or Freddie pulls the big bombers or me. If you hit it in the rough, you had sandwich out. So everyone that missed the fairway was penalised. And I hit more fairways than anyone else, more greens than anyone else, and putted all right. So uh, it, it worked in my favour. There was no uh, no guessing as to where I stood in the popularity stakes. I played with Payne on sa Sunday and Freddie on Saturday, and I said in the press conference, if I hear, you're the man, Freddie, one more time, I was going to be sick. And uh, Not that I don't like Freddie. Freddie's a lovely guy, and I was great mates with Payne. So they're really good blokes, but uh, yeah, uh, I knew where I stood. So I chopped down a big, a couple of big trees in America. I birdied 10 and then Freddie birdied 12 and I bogeyed 12. And I went one behind for the first time since Friday lunchtime. And I thought, here we go again, because I'd done exactly the same thing at the Open Championship the year before. So my first thought was, yes, here we go again. And then I said, I'd stop being a and I gave myself an uppercut and knuckled down and concentrated really hard and Freddie missed a couple of putts and, and I played very solidly except for one shot over the final six holes and, and won by three, so yeah, it was nice. Despite holding a comfortable lead walking down the 18th, Wayne admits he didn't feel sure of victory right until his approach shot had found the green. When I got it on the green on 18, because I just the day before, I had a three-shot lead play in 18, I murdered the tee shot, just absolutely as good a tee shot as I did all week. And I had seven iron in, but I watched Larry Mize lay the divot over a seven iron the day before into the lake and make triple. So until that ball, I saw that ball on the green, uh, that's when I knew three-shot lead, I, even I can four putt and win. I just think the realisation that I'd done something that we all, every golfer strives to do, uh, is to win a major. Unless you're one of the really good players, the great players, you don't, you never think you're going to. You all, everyone wants to, you never think you're going to. And, but I put myself in the position two times in two years and finished second in one and won one. So uh, I was very fortunate. Is that any good? I didn't rethink my goals after the PGA and I've been celebrating ever since, but it's, it's been a good party.